Welcome everybody. I'm back with another video for y'all. So let's see if we got the power of love messages here. We're gonna pop it off. Go ahead and get a, a oracle message and then we're gonna jump into the tarot. All right, let's get a message for the collective, please. Loyalty. Your reliability demonstrates your love and sense of devotion and consistency of being. So it looks like somebody here is being consistent. Okay. Oh, somebody's being consistent, but they're not satisfied because satisfaction is in the reverse. Now, satisfaction upright is you let the energy of love guide you to self so, to self approval, so that so that others no longer define who you are. But it's in the reverse. Okay, so is is I'm getting like somebody's being loyal, but they're not satisfied with it. Okay, and I'm also getting this person is losing patience. Okay. You could be losing patience with this person. I feel like it's y'all being loyal to somebody, but it's like you're not really digging the results. And I feel like you're losing patience. Um, I feel like you're just not ready, fully, fully ready to let the situation go. You're trying to see what's the purpose of the connection at the same time. But let's see. Tell me more. What else? Unity. Yeah. Like y'all not on the same page. Now we got unity upright is you understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. But it's in the reverse. All right. So I'm getting what this green energy is kind of giving me like heart chakra. I feel like this is somebody that you care about, but you're just not satisfied. And I don't feel like y'all are on the same page. I feel like there is some loyalty. You may feel like you're being loyal to this person or vice versa. Or y'all both are just being really, really loyal to each other. But it's just something missing. There's something that's missing in the connection. Okay? It's just something missing. It's like y'all not on the same page. Okay? So let's see what's going on. Alright, so what's going on with this connection? What is going on with this connection? I'm sensing the loyalty is definitely there. It's just like it's just, what's 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 unsatisfying? I wanna know what's unsatisfying. Like why is someone not satisfied? I'm getting somebody's being super duper loyal, but mm, <laughs> this is not on the same page. All right. Wow. I don't even like how this starting off. So I'm hearing somebody saying everybody gets cheated on from time to time. I'm hearing you feel like you want to get married or you feel like you want to be together forever. You got to stick it out. And if this person, this person feels like if they get caught being sneaky, then somebody's just supposed to have to deal with it. Wow. So somebody's being somebody is being loyal to somebody like I, I clearly see not being on the same page so this the problem with not being on the same page is the loyalty like the difference of opinions and what's loyal what does loyal mean to you 
Because somebody's feeling like, I'm being loyal to you, but my loyalty means like I can stick around, but I'm still going gonna, gonna to cheat. Or I'm going to go sneak off and do what I want to do. I'm going to go gamble. I'm going to go uh, sleep around. I'm going to go drink. I'm going to go, like, the loyal, they're loyal to you. Loyalty, like, sticking around, but I'm getting, like, veering off at the same time. return on their investment somebody wants a return on their investment i see somebody put a lot into it and this person could be real toxic like the way they think is just toxic this person got a lot of other options and i feel like some i feel like the person that's in this situation feels like they made like a bad decision when it comes to investing. For some of you, this is a cut. This is like clients, customers, business. Cause I see a lot of earth here, and I'm, I'm getting like this has a lot to do with investments. Okay, and you trying to get a return on something that you invested in. I'm hearing if you know you was going to leave and go back to what you was doing, then we could have just been friends. Uh, I'm hearing that as well, too. Somebody definitely wants to take the relationship to the next level. But I feel like... Somebody's waiting on this, waiting on the masculine to take something to the next level because they they're getting frustrated with competing or fighting over this masculine. They want this masculine to themselves. Even sure if this masculine is even all the way theirs. They're not even sure. They, they, I feel like this, this energy here, this um, just don't feel like it's, it's, it's kind of it's a big question mark when it comes to this person or when it comes to this situation. It's just a big question mark. They are over the place. The masculine is just too all over the place. Then they come back and apologize. But then they go right back and do the same thing. You're getting tired of it. And you feel like it's just like your money is going down the drain. It's, it's, it's frustrating. I'm getting serious asshole. Like you, you, like you really feel like this person is like a legit asshole, but you love this person, but you love him. You just don't feel like the timing right. You don't want to see this person with nobody else, but you just feel like the timing is not right. So the timing ain't right for this situation. You want to see this 
you want to see this uh, connection move forward. I feel like it's because you want to feel like you went through a struggle. You went through, I'm getting struggle love. I'm just putting it out there. Again, like you went through, uh, this person drug you through the mud. And you want to feel validated. You want to feel like you won. You want to feel like you on top. I feel like this is a karmic. Because I see a lot of competitive energy, like, taking down other competition. I feel like a divine feminine ain't going to do all of that. I feel like it's a karmic energy. So this masculine, wow, I feel like this karma constantly brings up this masculine's past. Is hoping that this karma can, can feel where he coming from, because I feel like this masculine told this told this uh karma that the timing ain't right for them to take this to the next level. I feel like true enough. I feel like this karma can invest it, but I feel like it was a bad choice. It was just the timing isn't right. This masculine is hoping that this karma can feel where he come from. This masculine just wanted a fresh start. He wanted to get ahead. This makes me feel like a lot has been said, too much has been seen, too much has been said. I feel like uh, a lot of truth has, has come out about what's going on with their connection, okay? So this masculine might be ready to run off. This masculine is pressed for time. He pressed for time for some reason. I'm getting like rushing. He want to hurry up and, and you know, get the conversation over with. Because I'm getting like he pressed for time. He wants her to feel where he's coming from for some reason. Um... Say, like, look, it's not, it ain't gonna change. Stuff still gonna be going on. And you feel like if the truth get out, he gonna regret some type of decision. But he see this connection as fun. The sun and the night of wands. This is fun for him. It's something to do. It's something to relieve his stress. Okay, because he got his own issues. That's why he left. See, this is why he walked away from somebody that he was dealing with in the past. Could be a water sign because we got the Eight of Cups, Six of Cups, Queen of Cups, Three of Cups, and the world. That connection ended. On bad, I, I, don't, I feel like, I feel like it was a friendship that ended. Like, it's like he lost his best friend. Um... And I feel like he he's trying to get this karmic to understand where he come from, and this karmic like no, I I don't put a lot into this, but she don't feel like he all the way hers. She is trying to change him, she is trying to change him, and it's something that he not, 
And see, that's what this masculine is trying to tell her. That, look, you're trying to change me into someone that I'm not. Okay? I feel like this Carmen gets upset because he's not telling her what she wants to hear. Um, she really once by the time she realizes what's going on, she you know she gonna start slowing down. You know, slowing down with this masculine. She tired of feeling like she doing things. She the only one in a relationship. I hear her telling him to get out. Yep. I'm also seeing too, like, telling this masculine to get out. <laughs> and then she going on a trip. Going out of town. Eight of Cups, Eight of Wands, Six of Swords, and a Wero. Like, going out of town. It's a short trip, though, because I'm going getting going and coming right back. And not telling this masculine about it until she get back. She's going to give him his space. For him to act and feel like a single man. So she said, you want your space? Okay, I'll give you that. I'll go out. I'm finna go out of town. I'll be back. You going on the leave. Go ahead and do what you want to do for a little while. I'll be back. But this masculine is feeling like you're trying to change me into somebody. You're trying to turn me into somebody that I ain't. You want this, you want that. I don't know if I can do all of it. You know, I don't know if I can do I don't know if I can make that happen. She feel like she the one. But the thing about this is, this masculine got to feel like you the one. Okay, so that's what it is. Y'all let me know what's going on in the conversation below. I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao for now.